Welcome back to Let's Play Cognition! Hello! And finally, we're up to the last part of Episode 2! Excellent. Now I can give up my alcoholic ways and go back to being a normal person, because I don't have to blot out any more of this episode. <laughs> We've still got two episodes to go. Uh, once again with the excellent stair walking. Yes. <laughs> this is the only door I can find. And until I can prove he's the wise monkey, well... Let's say I don't want to deal with McAdams right now. Damn it! How do I get into this place? Oracle? Again? Who the hell is this person? Why do they keep sending these emails? I don't remember getting any other messages from Oracle before. Well, yeah, that, that's the way Oracle usually works. I deal with them a lot at work, and... <laughs> Ah, uh, it's just terrible. Every time you've got to contact Oracle for a Sun server, it's just not worth the trouble. I'm just like, it's alright, I'll just just install something else and make it work. <laughs> see, I was thinking Batman's Let's sidekick. Let's see what's in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. This has got to be the most expensive thing in the place. You're in an alleyway. Uh, the alleyway is probably... <laughs> it's the most Speak. expensive thing in the alleyway. This must be a voice-activated lock. Had to have been expensive to set up. I don't think it would have been. You just hook it up to a mobile phone. There's probably an app for it. <laughs> it's got a shiny red button. That's expensive. Mmm, <laughs> gonna use a tape recorder. No, you can't. What about the... Didn't you record a someone singing or something onto the table? Yes. Box? Oh, no, but we want the blind monkey or something to... Uh, nope. It's, it's just really stupid. Like, as you can see, there was no way to use an item with this until we run through this list of uh, attempts. Oh, okay. Open up. Open sesame. Unlock. Door open. Let me in. Fucking A. Fat chance this thing would open for my voice. Okay. <laughs> Why would it be? Or a warrant, even if I did. How can I get this thing open? It's like they just didn't trust you to have figured out the solution to the puzzle, so they won't let you solve Maybe it. Maybe this'll do it. I was gonna say that probably wouldn't work, because singing, you tend to not necessarily have a normal speaking tone. Yeah, the key to this door would literally have to be that exact section of that song. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that door's threatening us. Let's shoot it. <laughs> She's just working up her nerve to walk inside. It's scary. Portrait of a psychotic serial killer. This place is a profile that practically writes itself. Most of this stuff looks like old tools for artistry. But those jars and that tray don't really go with the rest. <laughs> tools for artistry. Well, she's an FBI agent. They're not exactly. There's nothing but some up to the hip these, sort of and they're labeled one through four thing looks like there used to be tape on them yeah art supplies is a very specialist this evidence term. is too important to remove oh this evidence is too important to remove <laughs> unlike all the other evidence Ugh, it smells <laughs> awful let's so let's move it and find out the victim's organs what the fuck is this a trophy wall yes that's exactly what it is Oh, this guy is fucking sick. And it's almost like he's some kind of this serial killer. This is too important to remove. <laughs> Perhaps put the top back on so some stray dogs don't come in and eat it. You can only select one of these at a time. Oh, fantastic. I'm not getting anything. Something's not right. Yeah, <laughs> the serial killer's apartment. <laughs> There are a lot of things that are not right about this. <laughs> These are all of Kelsey. 
but he's erased her eyes, ears, and mouth in all of them. He's classy. Is there a medium or technique this guy didn't try? These run the gamut. And he scratched something out or thrown paint over almost every one of them. Well, just off the, the top of my head, aren't just sculpture. Trophies. They were for Kelsey. He said he'd fix her, make her perfect, by killing people he thought failed or betrayed her and taking their organs to replace hers. He must have seriously believed somehow she'd come back to life if he found the right ones. Well, he might not have seriously believed that. He might have just not thought it all the way through. Or maybe he believed something else. He's clearly crazy. Also, there's a green flashy thing over there now. It's handwritten. And yeah, most I was deliberately ignoring out. that. <laughs> huh, you want me to press this thing, do you? Mm. This thing looks as solid as the exterior door. No handle, no hinges, and the glass looks bulletproof. So we're going to observe something unpleasant through it. Hooray! It's dark in there. I can't see anything. I can. <laughs> but she's got a phone, right? Phones have got torches. Another high-tech lock. The post office <laughs> can't pay nearly enough to cover these. How did Gothals afford this stuff? It's a touchscreen tablet attached to another high-tech lock. Press enter to start. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't think she should have had a good feeling ever. <laughs> Sully! Jared, I'm here! Holy shit! That's a lethal injection chair. Sully, can you That's move? That's not a chair at all! The door won't open! How can he hear her? <gasps> shit! Hang on! I'm gonna get you out of there! Oh, well, I guess it's not soundproof. Just hold on, Sully! What? Bullet what is glass. this? A quiz? Oh, God. I have to answer a fucking quiz to get past this door? My thoughts exactly. <laughs> oh great, memory, cause, yeah. I gu I'm guessing you can probably just like, use your psychic powers on the things in your inventory to get this or something, but fuck Shit, that. that can't be good. Seems okay. Oh, oh, yep. oh, oh, oh. Jared! Oh, he's still breathing. Lethal injection, that means the first shot will just knock him out. Second one paralyzes, third one kills. I'd better not fuck up again or this is going to get bad. <laughs> How does she know what chemicals they're using in that... in those things? Where's that third one go into? Because if it goes into his skull the like the rest of them, it's just going to kill him. <laughs> yeah, you don't need that third one. It, it's just <laughs> I assume you've done this twice to get both endings. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that went straight, <laughs> straight through the spine. Uh -uh. <laughs> No. Jared! No! What Jared? if she hadn't replied? No! And just no. <laughs> not answered it. No. No. Uh, I, I guess the killer would have just sent her increasingly less cryptic notes, eventually just going, Look, just come to Joey's house. He's here. Just come and get him. I need to act faster. <laughs> I'm disappointed that you can't actually let Jared die. That would have been nice. It ruins my prediction that he was going to end up dead in this one. <laughs> in some ways, he very much did. And this is where I went to a walkthrough. No. It is sad that that is the ultimately the way it's going to work, because 
Even if you play this Green light. That's good. really through. Oh, shit, another question. <laughs> Did you really think there was just gonna be... <laughs> I hoped there was just gonna be one. <laughs> How many of these are there? Too many. Yeah, it's like they just had her say what the player is thinking. Come on, come on. Oh, need to do this thing. I thought I'd better check if there is just like a simple solution to this that I'm not seeing. But oh, really? You can't magic it up? That configurations? What the hell does that mean? Again, she says what I'm thinking. Oh god. Now to do this properly would have taken lot of effort, so I didn't do it properly. <laughs> do tell me what is the proper way of doing it. Well, you'll see in a minute, but basically it would include what I actually end up doing, but just a whole lot more going back and forth between this screen and the other screen that I'm about to show you. Oh so god. Now, we, now yep. we get to play with the missing organs. There's evidence that it's too Someone's important to eyes. move. <laughs> so does this... Uh, does a psychopath know mm. that um, she's psychic? I guess These came from they Harley. must, because there's oh, no I other explanation. Once I know who they belong to. <laughs> Why? Why would you take them once you know who they belong to? They can stay there. <laughs> Need to carry around a whole lot of eyes. Ears and tongues. Taken from Heather Ann, the opera singer. Someone's eyes. That was quite graphic. That looked like. Yeah. No, that can't be right. Because well. I want you to recognize that that's Joey. Ah. So she's going to keep the eyes on her desk now. <laughs> These were Luke's eyes. This came from Colleen. Oh, God. Somebody's tongue. This this is just taken from Heather Ann, the opera singer. Uh, yeah. This is really unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know the best way to describe this. It's not Well, you could have just you don't need to like click on each one individually. They could have Joey just had a boss? single cut scene but to cover this whole monkey. bit. Yeah. Taken from Heather Ann, the opera singer. Like you could even splashed up a, a couple of pictures showing, you know, on a single screen showing each person getting their thing cut out and just. These were DJ Abhorrence's ears. Because if I'm honest, this has taken quite a gruesome round. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's just yeah, just dwelling on it for so long. <laughs> Oh, that was. These, that was a thing that happened. These belong to Go Falls. Yep. What the hell? Oh my God! It's not him. I'm not getting anything. Something's not right. <laughs> you just filled your pockets with body parts. <laughs> yeah, something seems off about this situation. And so here's where the walkthrough comes in, because now, instead of going back and forth between the screen that tells you which organs to put in which jar, I just looked it up and did it all on this one screen. <laughs> oh, 
enough of that bullshit. And it still takes way too long, and if you accidentally click the fucking organs instead of the jar they're in, you take them back into your inventory. Oh, nice. So, yeah, just what you need. It's like they thought this game is too short and doesn't have enough puzzles. I know, we'll make some meaningless puzzles here at the end that take a really long time to do. Solves both problems. Yeah. And then they gave it to the creepy guy who only works the night shift and just is a bit weird. <laughs> Angel, one down, three to go. Were you doing this late at night? So I'm thinking uh, that might not, might not have been conducive to really um. <laughs> no, I think I was doing this in the afternoon. Yeah. Like honestly, when you're doing it, the the uh, grotesqueness of it doesn't really impact you that much because you're just so irritated about yeah. how tedious this puzzle is. It sort of becomes a bit mechanical. Yeah. Lover, that's two. It's like a metaphor for this whole game. It's been so long and tedious, and we're only two out of four. <laughs> nope. Accidentally clicked the wrong thing. Well, at least it didn't dump all that stuff out of there. Yeah. That would have been really annoying. Starless, start. just one more label and I've got this. Yeah, I don't know what these <laughs> labels actually relate to at all. They seem completely arbitrary. Why do we have the extra body parts? Or are we keeping the body parts in our inventory? They're just getting... Yeah, we keep taking them back after we've used our psychic powers on them. Like, stick them in the jar, use the power, then just take them all out of the jar again. Because they're important evidence. Uh, yeah, uh, apparently that we need to carry around in our pocket. Darling. That's all of them. Thank you for that. They really don't trust you to figure out anything on your own. One more down. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> that was the last one. Sully. Jared. For a minute I thought he was going to die anyway, yeah. like her brother did, but no. They didn't pull that annoying trick oh, twice. Up, well, I don't know. I, why wouldn't the psychopath do that? Because it sounds like the sort of thing they do, where they just go, Aha! I got you anyway! <laughs> Except her brother was taken by the cane killer, and uh, Sully was taken by the discount Riddler. Kelsey was here the whole time while the balls tried to fix her and turn her into his own personal masterpiece. If those really belong to Joey Gothard, what the hell is going on? Who's doing this and how do they know about me? Oh look, it's the symbol from the other thing. I'm good they had that flashback because I'd forgotten entirely about that. In fact, I don't. Know, I still don't actually remember. <laughs> well, we don't know what it means. It's just a symbol that keeps showing up. <laughs> and why did she swear there instead of going? 
Hmm, that looks familiar. Because she's not very good detective, so I didn't expect her to recognise it. <laughs> she's not a very good detective, but she is a very dramatic detective. <laughs> What are we saying now? I want to know what this is. I think this is happening in the present. It, that's that's Joey, and he's being. I swear the Illuminati lives in this building. Oh God. That's ridiculous. What's ridiculous is that guy's name, Duffer. <laughs> I heard that the U.S. government is putting high levels of vinegar in the nation's water supply. Vinegar. That explains all the douchebags running around. Well, it kind of would. Everyone's always angry because of all the vinegar. <laughs> and so, yeah, now the Riddler threw Joey off the roof. For reasons. That is something the Riddler would do. Let's be honest, he's not exactly the nicest of people. I like how the first episode ends with this dramatic shootout in a church, and the second episode ends with some really annoying puzzles. Yeah. It's like... Which you sort of have to... you can't fail, in the sense that you can fail, but you just have to go back and do them again. Yeah, they're not even timed. Yeah. I, I, there is no encourage. It's memory puzzles for things that happened, and I okay, that's sort of people have lives. You don't play game. Well, you you do if you're playing Eve, as you know that's basically a job. But <laughs> games like this, they're meant to be fun. You don't have to sit there and go, "Ooh, I'll work out these little things." Well, why did Space Quest eventually be, never get remade again? Because people got tired of sitting there going, "Ah." Oh, I used the torch instead of the matches five hours ago, and now I'm fucked. <laughs> well, to be fair, it doesn't have any of those sort of annoying puzzles in it. It's just got bits where you're expected to you know, remember random details you don't care about. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I understand having some depth and that sort of stuff, and you've got to remember some puzzle details, but I, you need a way to go back, you know, like you look through a notebook or something like that not actually have to have a physical notebook and write down all the things. Yeah, a notebook mechanic would not only make this game better, it would make a lot of sense since you're playing a detective. Yeah. Yeah, you can get away with that, like um, Blackwell does that, doesn't it? You can... Yeah. Yeah. Gives you options, that sort of stuff. And I don't entirely like the way it's done in there, but it's a better idea than me having to sit down and kind of think, because you might not play a game every day. You might not try and sit and play it in one city either. Yeah, well, like, this game takes, like, well, the videos are like two and a half hours and there's more just dicking around trying to figure shit out. Yeah. So, like, you know, three or four hours, you're probably not going to do that in one sitting. No. Very few people are going to have time to... I don't think this is that popular a game, so I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Especially not after this. Um, uh, what, what would we call this? This Let's Play. But yeah, like, you do the start of it in, like, one weekend. Like, you sit down and play for a bit. And then you might come back to it the next weekend or a bit while, or a while later. You're not going to remember these details. Yeah. Oh, and especially if you played it like as it came out, as each episode came out, you're not going to remember details from episode one by the time you get to episode two. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Oh, that's a lot of backers they've got. Are all these people going to come to our house and punch us in the face? <laughs> <laughs> also, well, just because they backed it doesn't mean they were you know, entirely satisfied with the finished product. It wouldn't be Kickstarter if everyone was happy with how it turned out. Wow, that's really a lot. Oh, I suppose there's people who with money, lots of money, they just throw at everything, so... 
I don't know what the backer level was for like getting your name on the end like this. It might have only been like five bucks. Yeah, I suppose that's a good point. It's a reasonably easy thing to throw away. Although I've never understood why you would want your name in the credits like this, because like you're the only person who's ever going to look for it. No yeah. one's going to see it. It's just pointless. Yeah, well. Where are you, Erika? Are you at the Infon Tower? Agent Reed, what are you doing here? What's going on? No oh, this is the previews of the tower. next episode. I'm having a very hard time controlling my vision. So I guess next time we will be inside Davies. the tower that Joey just got I'd thrown off. Ah, oh, with all the Illuminati. Yeah. Putting vinegar in their water. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what the Illuminati does. Yes. <laughs> well, that said, if they did have that much power, you would just do dickish things like that. Just for the hell of it. That's what I'd do. They control the governments of the world, all the world's finances, and what do they do with their power? They put vinegar in your water. It would make it very hard to have a watered-down milk. It just... And then they spread rumours that they're actually put behind the fluoridation of water so that no one suspects the vinegar. That's it. <laughs> and they cover up all the, the things that find out that there's vinegar in the water. Because of course they do. That's why those cops got that body thrown on their car. <laughs> they were too close. <laughs> yeah, too close, that's right. Cops know about this. <laughs> anyway, that was... Episode 2. So. Go out and buy this game and play it. Do yourself a favour. Oh yeah, it's fantastic, as you can tell. I would strongly recommend you do this. Mostly so that then if you come to me and tell me you like it, I can know not to talk to you and just leave you. <laughs> With any luck, the next episode will be shorter. 